Well, hello, Shoreline. This is your devotional time for Wednesday, July 22nd. And I'm going to be reading from Psalm 139, one of my favorite chapters of the whole Bible. Uh, I won't read the whole thing. I wish I could because there's so much beauty here. But just a, a few, really four thoughts that come out of this passage that I want to share with you today. So it begins with this declaration of God's sovereign knowledge of everything. And so uh, the psalmist David says, You have searched me, Lord, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise, you perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out, my lying down. You're familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely. And just kind of goes on with, God, you just know everything. And I want to remind you in this, in this time in, in our lives, in our world, with so many uncertainties, that you are known by God. He knows you. When you rise and when you sit, your thoughts, and he still loves you, and he's with you. You are known. And then the psalm continues in verse 7. And David asks this question, Where can I go from your spirit? Where can I flee from your presence? Well, obviously, the answer is nowhere. He says, If I go up to the heavens, you're there. If I make my bed in the depths, you're there. If I rise on the wings of the dawn, if I settle on the far side of the sea, even there your hand will guide me, your right hand will hold me fast. Here's the second reality. God is with us. Not only are we known Uh, We have the presence of God with us. Where can I go, God, from your presence? Where can I flee from your spirit? The answer, nowhere. Wherever you are right now, whatever you're going through, whatever you're experiencing, wherever you are physically, wherever you are emotionally, wherever you are relationally, wherever you are spiritually, you're not alone. God is with you. And then the psalm gets really personal. I mean, so personal, it moves into the womb. I mean, it was this picture of, you can't get any, any more intimate than a baby in the womb of a mother. But listen to verse 13 and following. David declares, you created my inmost being. You knit me together in my mother's womb. That's intimate. I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Your works are wonderful. I know that full well. I love when David says, your works are wonderful because he's talking about himself. He says, God, uh, look at myself. You made me. And your works are wonderful. I hope we can all say that to recognize that we're, because we're made by God Almighty, there's something wonderful about us. And then, and then David says, my frame was not hidden from you when I was made in the secret place, when I was woven together in the depths of the earth. And then, and then he goes from the cryptic sort of symbolic to the literal. He says, your eyes saw my unformed body and all the days ordained for me were written in your book before one of them came to be. David is saying, my life began in the womb. God, your plan for me began in the womb. I mean, that has things to say about life, and that has the things to say about your life. The intimacy of God, his presence with you, his plan for you didn't begin when you turned 16 or 18, or when you got your driver's license, or became a legal adult, or you could vote. That's not when life began. Your life began when God formed you, and his plan for you is as old as time and is as real as the God, presence of God who is with you and who knows you and who loves you. And then at the very end of this, it's so interesting in the psalm because David is talking about God's presence and God's knowledge of him. And so you think, well, David gets it, but at the end he prays this unique prayer. Listen to how he finishes with a prayer. I hope this becomes your prayer today. Search me, God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in your way everlasting. David has said at the beginning, God, you've searched me and you know me. And at the end he says, but God, search me even more. God, that's our prayer today. Our prayer is that you would search us and know us. See if there's any offensive wrong ways in us. And God, there are. But then lead us in the way everlasting. Make us who you want us to be. Oh God, this day, Remind us that you you know us, you are with us, you are powerful, you are glorious, and your plan for us began before we understood it. Let us walk in your plan and walk in your ways as you search us and transform us into all you want us to be. We pray this, Jesus, in your name and for your glory. Amen. Well, God bless you. I hope you had a great Sunday last Sunday online or, or on campus. And if you want to register for on campus worship, you can go online to do that. And if you're coming online, we'll see you Sunday morning at 8.30, 10, or 11.30, or on campus at 9 or 11. God bless you. Have a great week.